time, I don't know, must be like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Where are we? In Riksgrensen. Sweden? Yeah, it's the goods. Good morning, Sunshine. Fat Freddy the cat. Do you know the legend about the, the turtle and the hare? And the, and the turtle wins because slow and steady wins the race? Is uh, rather slow. What I mean with that is um, he's a village boy. Small village guy. Personality maybe a little bit if you can say it, you know. His personality has something uh, very um, peaceful. He does, he's a slow dude, he's like, what up, my name is Freddy, how you doing today? Yeah, he wouldn't say how you doing today, but you know, just like, oh yeah, you want to see my video part, you know? And he hands me the camera all slow, or the computer all slow. I thought he was joking, but that's just how he did it all week. To him it was probably always snowboarding, and will always be, and uh, that's Freddy. Like shot like tons of sick video parts and stuff, he's super focused on, on what he does and sometimes it can be a little bitch sh shaping jumps with him because he knows exactly how he wants it and it's like an, an, an art thing for him how to build the perfect jump. <laughs> Freddy's a pretty chill person. But I'd say his action speaks louder than words. Gifted in so many ways, you know, and he, seeing Freddy, you know, spinning records in such fair. Spin that shit! Always there, always in the moment. But then again, sometimes he's just somewhere else. And uh, it's a bit like a cat, you know, that just pays attention to what's cool and if not, out of here. Riding wise, you know, he's right up there with Nico, you know, I think. What they both have is on their backs it spins the Swiss Army knife, which puts them upside down. But once they straighten their legs, they land right on them. After Albin and Nico, like right there, like super sick Swiss style. I don't know Freddy all that well and I haven't ridden with him that much, but when I did ride with him, he was so smooth, it was ridiculous and he would stomp most things first try, which was pretty rad. Be known for his smooth style, making stuff look so good, super controlled. Freddy Swiss, and with that comes perfection. Some, someone who's really precise, and he just builds like really big jumps. <clears throat> Freddy was always better than me, and uh, I think he still is. Freddy is one of those natural gifted people, you know, growing up in, in South Fay. He was pushing the boundary, and. Uh... You can see that he's really comfortable in, in big mountain and you know, he, he lives in the Alps, he's, he's from the Alps culture, so that's his riding style. Freddie might be one of the best jumpers in the world. That guy can just send it, man. In the backcountry, it's just, he's, he's a jumping machine, for sure. Just, um, just so much power in, in uh, in style and fluidity in, in, in his jumping. Like, it's rad to see like how he goes through the motions and just firing tricks off on jumps. Most memorable possession probably was watching him the battle in Sweden, that was uh, in impressive to watch him right there. Yeah, we had a sick day in San Moritz where we had like three jumps in the zone, like smaller than this room probably, you know. Our jumps coming into the same kind of landing area and just had really sick sessions there, you know. Saturation, he was on fire, like every jump, big, massive, stylish. He was... Uh, for sure one of the best jumpers ever. Good memory with Freddy was our trip to Russia for East in Kamchatka. Very last day, everybody was hungover and tired from our entire trip already. We built a kicker 
And Freddy was the one that, you know, made sure he's going home with good shots in the bag. I landed three different tricks and it was perfect to round up the trip like that.